What's up YouTube, and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips and black box locations on critical, regular and low for the raid starting on the 20th of February, running through to the 26th of February, which is Project Titan Week 222. We hope you'll continue to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, or even gift us a dollar for pizza using the link in our description, because any support you give us helps drive us to make these early raid intel videos which allows you to quickly complete the raids and collect the black boxes as soon as the Project Titan week begins. For critical this week, the modifiers will be Friendly Fire, Injuries Bleed, and Realistic Reload. So using the intel skips, you first need to collect four intels from Heliport before you can input the password into the node at Satellite Dish. Once you've done that, you'll have access to Bow at the Chemical Refinery, and beating this Titan will allow you to advance into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires two intels at Forgotten Sanctuary, plus a further one intel at Missile Site Ruins. Then you can interrogate the guy on the roof at Camp Phoenix, before finally inputting the password he gives you into the node at Testing Zone, where you can fight Gargoyle. For Supercomputer, you just need to hack and defend the node at Salamander. Then you can fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With the two bosses in Sector 2 beaten, you can head into Sector 3. Cerberus requires two intels at Red Phoenix and a further two intels at Scandium Mine, one using your drone in B2 and the other is a pickup. Next, you need to destroy three panels at Prototype Workshop before finally putting four hands on nodes at No Man's Land. This will give you access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield where you can complete the Critical Raid. And if you're looking for the black boxes on Critical this week, there are two in Sector 1, the first at Satellite Dish and the other at Heliport. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Camp Phoenix and the other at Salamander. And finally there's two more in Sector 3, the first at Prototype Workshop with the other being at No Man's Land. In summary, we predict this raid will take longer than normal to complete, and that's mainly because of the amount of intels that are needed across the three sectors. If you are organised in a confident squad, then there will be lots of opportunities to split up. However, do bear in mind that if things go wrong when you split up, it can actually end up taking longer. With regards to the modifiers, we think they have potential to cause issues for certain squads. So do watch out for that friendly fire one, and try to ignore team kills if you want to make it through the raid a bit quicker. And as always, if you do run into any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help out, so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel and black box locations. So you can begin by destroying the four panels at Satellite Dish to open up the circle for Bow at the chemical refinery, and beating this boss will allow you to head into Sector 2. Gargoyle needs one intel at Missile Site Ruins before you can defend the node at Salamander. Then you can head to Testing Zone to beat the Flying Titan. And Supercomputer, you just have to destroy four panels at Testing Zone before you can fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With both Gargoyle and Supercomputer defeated, you can advance into Sector 3. Cerberus requires two intels at Prototype Workshop before you can head up to the Lava Shield to interrogate one guy and also grab one intel up there. After that, you'll need to press four nodes at Scandia Mine before finally putting the password into the node at Red Phoenix. Doing all of that will open up the final Titan battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete this week's regular or low raids. And if you're looking for the black boxes on regular and low this week, there are two in Sector 1. The first at Ancient Harbour, and the other is at Chemical Refinery. Then there'll be two boxes in Sector 2, the first at Testing Zone, and the other at Missile Site Ruins. And finally there's two more in Sector 3, the first one at Red Phoenix, with the last being at Prototype Workshop. That's all for now. We hope you've enjoyed our Intel and Black Box video enough to leave a like and comment, plus subscribe or donate if you haven't already. Also, please let your friends know about our channel, because it's all of your support that helps drive us to make our content. So until next time, peace out, the unlucky lads.